Hello everyone. Today we'll see uh, the next experiment that is key sensing and relativation. So till the first uh, two experiment, uh, till now what we did is only you know giving output to external world from the microcontrollers, signaling ones, the ones and zeros, and we can uh, do the reverse thing as well. We can get the input from uh, external world. Uh, the simplest thing is interfacing a key where it can read binary 0 or 1 if key pressed or not can be detected easily. So let's do it how we can able to perform that. So I am going to create a new folder in my main directory, main directory is this and uh, key sensing okay something like this I'll give a project name again meaningful key sensing you can uh, do anything you want, you can activate relay or you can activate an LED or both and from relay you can connect some peripheral, uh, you know, appliances like fan and uh, light, all those things. Let's see, let's see what all we can able to do. Uh, 2148, okay, this is what we are using in the lab, say S and I have a program already that I think already I have dis uh, discussed in the regular class. This is going to be a repetition of that. I will save it. Uh, I know. Key, okay, key sensing. Key sensing. Key sense. I will give something like this. Dot C extension must be given or else you don't get this color images and you don't get output after it won't build it will not build your project that is all so you can uh, pause for a minute and see the program and you can copy the same thing so this is the configuration of input and output i have explained already what what is what all the what all the things okay you can pause it and you can take a snapshot and this completes your program okay this is the main program okay you can again take a snapshot then uh, we'll build this and uh, we'll uh, before building we need to add it to source file add I have added now and if you, if you build it, you will get the uh, header file here and then you have to go for the target options and do two changes in the target options. In the output you have to create X file and in the linker use memory layout from the target dialog. These two things you have to do it and you have to do it for all and say build. Once you build, you should you should not have any errors or warnings. Uh, warnings you just have to check it out. Errors must not be there. And then we can able to uh, uh, debug it in the uh, in build debugger. We can able to do it here. So before going to debugging, let's look into the inputs and output. So if I press a key which is there in 0 0.3, 0 0.4 LED must be on and this is 0 point, how much it will be? Uh, this one I think, uh, 25th, 1.25 must be on. So this is 1.25, 1.25 and 
0.25. So if I operate 0 0.3, 0 0.4 and 1.25 must respond. If I operate 0 0.15, 0 0.5 and uh, 0.12 must respond. Okay. Just remember these two things. We will go for uh, peripherals and we will see uh, whether they, they are going to respond or not. Peripherals, GPIO interface, port 1. Uh, now, if I run and if I operate 0 0.3, okay, now it is not pressed because it is connected to pull up, by default it is 1. If I press, that means if I make it 0, 0 0.4 and 1.25 must be turned on, okay, that's good. If I switch it off, that means if I release, this, the, these two things are turned off. You can able to observe clearly. So, I am operating at 0 0.3, 0 0.4, this one and 1.25 must respond. So, these two are responding. So, And if I operate the other key which is connected to 0 0.15, what are the things should respond? At 0 0.12 and 0 0.5, this one must be responding. So, 0 0.12 is here somewhere, 0 0.5 is here. Okay. So, if I operate 0 0.15, you can able to see 0 0.12, this one and these two, this one are responding. Okay. This is all about this experiment and the same thing can be uh, done on uh, Proteus. Let's see how can you able to do it. Uh, we will go to Proteus. Since we, know, we do not have LPC 2148 the nearest one uh, will take it up, that is LPC uh, 2138. Okay. And I already told you to how to connect uh, supply and uh, ground. Okay, this is about the ground, uh, these things must be connected to VCC, 3.3 volt VCC is sufficient, uh, this is V reference used for ADC, however we are not using, it may give error, that is why we are connecting, V bat is the battery that must be connected to the uh, RTC, which is used for RTC. And then we connect power and this must be somewhere near 3.3 to 3.6 for LPC 2148. Let's say 3.3 and the same thing should be connected to reset because reset is active low. If you don't connect all the time microcontroller will be in. Uh, reset now, that is support will not come. Now uh, 0 0.3 and 0 0.15 are connected to push buttons. Uh, let's go and take push button. Okay, this is what I want. And I need one more that is point one five however I'll put it here uh, let it, let me put it here itself because you should not get confused 0.15 uh, 
0 0.15 and 0 0.3 are now connected to okay I'll take a ground and connect it here okay I'll take uh, the other part that is register because I need to make a up I'll simply hit plus to rotate here as well and these things must be connected to this system okay I'll go to part and take power connect it here all right make I can take up uh, the existing one is there yeah simply copy paste uh, copy is there and there it I forgot uh, the shortcut okay let me take uh, uh, here the power It is already there. You simply have to get it from drop down menu. Say OK. So now they are pulled up. You can keep it 10k or you can calculate exactly how much it requires. So actually, there is a calculation behind it. What will the value of this? So let's not get into all those stuff. So now these two uh, buttons are ready. Now I have to connect uh, the relays to 1.25 and uh, 0 0.12 so 0 0.12 is here so I take it up and connect it here I need to take relay okay uh, relay where is relay here say okay and connect it directly we cannot connect because this is going to be around 15 uh, old relay so I need to connect it through a transistor so let me connect a transistor first <coughs> you can make uh, active low or active high by making it uh, NPN or PNP transistor so I am going to uh, NPN transistor so this you can connect it to 15 volt or 12 volt I'll just check what is the delay value you can change it if you wish by 12 volt so what I do I'll uh, take uh, power supply again I'll connect it now 12 volt here you can connect DC if you wish suppose instead of this you can take up uh, make it here this is quite uh, okay but you have to make sure that you have given a correct DC value to it and you need to connect a ground here okay this is how uh, you can able to do it the remaining thing also it is possible and you can able to make it the same way I just copied and here you need to connect it to 1.25 that's it your connections are done you need to load the program edit properties open open your project directory embedded systems I have uh, save the project here uh, and in uh, key sensing and so this is my hex file and now it is ready if I run it uh, hopefully I should be able to get the output if 
I hit this, this relay is operating, you can able to check, okay. If I hit this, this relay must operate, yeah, it's working. So this is how you can able to uh, see it in the classroom, but you can able to extend, there is no meaning simply connecting relay. You can connect motors and uh, you can connect uh, actually AC uh, uh, appliances, you can connect anything. For uh, simplicity, I am going to connect uh, these things uh, to a motor and uh, to a, uh, what I say, to a bulb or lamp. So let me uh, take it. So how to make a connection? Uh, here I need to connect a lamp. So let's go ahead and take lamp. For uh, simplicity, I am taking lamp. Actually, uh, relay. It is most of the time it is meant for uh, the most of the time it is meant for you know AC appliances or even high uh, uh, capacity drivers. So this is going to be a 12 volt uh, lamp, it's a DC lamp, you can uh, take uh, AC as well if you wish. So this is the lamp, uh, another appliance you can take say motor, I am uh, taking a fan DC motor or something like this if you wish, you can take it up, fan or uh, say simple DC motor. You can take it, uh, take this and you can connect here. And you can make the connections like you did it. And here you can connect it. So this is again a 12 volt DC motor, you can, for simplicity I am taking these things. So when you press a key here, uh, this motor must run, if you press this one, this lamp must be turned on, that is what the intention actually. Okay, if I run it, uh, now it is not running, if I press this one, it must run. Can you see it's running? Yeah. If I press this, this lamp must turn on, you can able to see it is turning on, okay. So this is all about uh, the this project, it is very simple and you can able to do it hopefully with any uh, without any difficulties. At this point I will stop.